what is up youtube to the flash cycles back with you and i did a thing so typically actually i'm a mountain biker for the most part um never ridden road never ridden gravel but i decide to give road slash gravel a shot and so what i actually went and bought was the salsa warbird all right um it's the apex one so the bottom line so to speak as far as the components are concerned but i don't know any different because again it's my first time riding these things um got a great price on it from my local uh bike shop rainbow cycles out in southern pines north carolina um and i've taken it for a ride twice now so primarily road um, maybe about two three hundred meters of gravel just to see it out I'm still not 100% comfortable on these type of tires on gravel. Not because I don't think the bike could take it, but because I don't have a spare set or a spare tube for uh, this bicycle, nor do I have a pouch to put it. So there's that. I'm a little hesitant to take it on straight up gravel, but from what I did take it on, it handled it pretty good. Um, again, so I officially rode a road bike three times in my life, two on the South of Warbird, and I would say I'm impressed. I mean, coming from a mountain bike, obviously it feels like I could pedal this thing forever. It's light, well worth, I mean, fast, very fast actually. I don't think I've ever been that fast on a mountain bike. Here nor there. Um, initial impressions, uh, actually, why did I go with the South of Warbird? Well, I went with it because me and my buddy plan on doing a bike packing trip. So I needed a bike. I'm not going to do it on my mountain bike. So figured the South Warbird fits the bill and it wasn't stock and it wasn't too terribly expensive. So that's what I went with. And as of right now, I like it. So more to follow on that long trip. Plan on doing about 350 miles. Uh, but that'll be in the springtime, we'll get there. So basically, I'll do a set of videos of me getting used to riding this bike, start doing the upgrades, because you know nothing stays stock. Um, just posting on my time or trials and arrows of riding a gravel bike. First one I will say is always check pressure before you go ride a bike. All right, till next time. See you.